Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy Tommy Gamma here. Back with another video. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Staying safe out there. Continue to chase your dreams. Never give up. Guys, I have a new video here today. It is going to be on who I think is going to win the Stanley Cup. And you already know if you're looking at the title. I got your boys, the Toronto Maple Leafs, man. And let me tell you something about this team. Um, for me, this is shocking. And I know a lot of people say, like, oh, like, they're like the Cowboys. They're like the Dallas Cowboys of, like, the NHL. They're going to get in the playoffs and blow it. But I'm just going to tell you guys something to my Toronto fans out there. This team's different this year. And I know a lot of people are going to call me crazy. They're not going to agree because there's so many other good teams right now. Like the West is scary good. And like the West is so talented. I'm not even looking forward to watch the East this year, to be honest with you. I mean, you have the Avs, you have Maple Leafs, Oilers, Vegas. Like, oh my God, it's just mind blowing how good these teams are right now. So right now, Toronto guys, they are at a fantastic record. 31, 13, and 5. They're on a three-game win streak right now. Their last 10, they could be better. Um, they are 5, 3, and 2, which still isn't bad, but they definitely could be better. Uh, the Oilers, their last 10 is 7, 2, and 1, which is incredible. They're rolling right now. So, But I'm going to talk about Toronto right here. They're sitting at first place. Um, it, it, it's just crazy how good this team is this year. Um, and the fact that I think they're so good is this is a pretty big team, and they have a lot of debt going down the center. And I think that's why uh, this team right now is rolling. And I'm going to show you guys why I think, you know, this team is just the best of the best. Austin Matthews, the fact that he's putting up 35 goals in, what, a 56-game season, that's just Oh my God, especially how good these players are in today's game. You look at Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid might hit 100 points <laughs> in like 56 games, bro. Like, that's crazy. But Austin Matthews, man, um, him and McDavid, to me, I would add McKinnon in there as well. The best goal scorers in hockey in just today's game. Obviously, Ovi's there. But, um, but Austin Matthews, man, just for how young he still is and the fact that he's putting up these numbers is crazy. Um, so Mitch Marner right now is just having a career career year in like 56 games he has 17 goals 43 assists and 60 points i mean the guy's just phenomenal then you have austin matthews 35 goals 24 assists 59 points john Tavares, um like i said he's more of like that he's so important a lot of people say oh well you know he's not on the board as much but let me tell you something john Tavares goes that he let me tell you something john Tavares he goes every night against their top players in the world, okay? He's kind of like a uh, like a Sean Couturier in a way. I would even say like a Patrice Bergeron. His two-way play is phenomenal. Yeah, he only has, and still he has 44 points. He has He's going to score 20 goals this year. He has 17 goals, 27 assists. He's definitely going to hit the 20-goal mark, but the fact of the matter is he's so important. He plays against the best players every night, and uh, he doesn't even have to be on the stat sheet. I know a lot of people like to you know, to analytics, but I mean, John Tavares, he's such an important player and what other player is going to fill in John Tavares spot? Like, let's be honest, besides Austin Matthews, you know? Um, so, I mean, the team's just stacked, uh, Morgan Riley. I mean, he's just, he's rolling. I mean, 32 points. Um, the guy's just phenomenal. Uh, Jason Spets. So they have so much like debt. It's crazy. Um, Wayne Simmons for me. Yeah. He started off really good and yes, the injuries played in, but let me tell you something. I'm not going to go by analytics here. Cause I don't like just going by analytics and I know a lot of people do but Wayne Simmons effort wise I, I think and you would expect him to slow down because I believe he's in his 30s now I think he's he might be like I don't know how old he is I, I don't want to look it up I, I'm pretty sure he's in his 30s though but effort wise it's just phenomenal um how good he's been I'm not like I said I'm not gonna go by analytics because he only has uh what is it I think he only has seven goals and two assists. Yes, he only has seven goals and two assists. But let me tell you something. The guy's out there back-checking, forward-checking, hitting, fighting. Like, people are scared to go against this team when you have guys like Wayne Simmons. They, like, It's not like the Flyers, like my favorite team, to where everybody looks at them as a skills competition. And then you look at Joe Thornton, big Joe Thornton, man. He's a monster. I mean, he... He's putting up 15 points at, like, what, 40 years old? That, that guy's even producing. So, I mean, I, this team is so good, and I believe they're going to win the Cup. That's my prediction. Obviously, you guys can disagree, but, I mean, the Toronto Maple Leafs, yo, they're just freaking stacked, bro. Oh, my God. The power play, Austin Matthews right now, he has 10 power play goals. He's just 
Jack Campbell as well, 14 wins. His save percentage is a .925. He's having a career year. I mean, this could be Toronto's year. I mean, if they blow it in the first round, I really don't know what else to say with this team. But for me, they have to win. I mean, they're so skilled in every position. Their depth down the center of the ice is crazy good. And this is a pretty good physical team. That's another reason why I think, you know, this team is so good. A lot of people say, like, oh, well, you know, you, you don't need that physical or fighting guy anymore. It's a different league. Well, let me tell you something. Look at the Flyers, okay? You need these type of players because people are scared to go against this team. They're skilled. They're big. They hit. They fight. They do all of that. So, I mean, Toronto is the team right now to, you know, in my opinion, if you're going to bet, I would bet on Toronto. Obviously, you have Vegas, Abs. There's so many good teams. But right now, I think just skill-wise, I mean, Austin Matthews is going to come in this I think playoffs and he's going to light it up. Um, can you just imagine watching Austin Matthews versus Connor McDavid, man? First of all, let's just talk about it. The like this division is stacked. I know you know you look at the bottom. What is it? The bottom three, but the bottom. What is it? The bottom three teams. You have the Flame Centers and Canucks. First of all, you have Toronto. You have the Oilers. You have the Jets. You have the Canadians. Flame Centers, Canucks. I, I know you know the Flame Centers and Canucks really aren't there as well as Montreal. But let me tell you something. They're very good teams. Very very good teams. Um, like I said, Montreal's on the. They're they're trying to get in. Uh, it's iffy right now. But uh, yeah, so it, it's going to be definitely good, guys. Um, I can't wait to watch this, these playoffs with these teams. It's going to be phenomenal. But that's my opinion. Wanted to bring you guys a new video. Um, I'm trying to upload more. So uh, guys, stay tuned. Please subscribe. Comment, your, comment, guys. I like to read your comments and your opinions. So let me know. Guys, have a great day. Peace.